Good morning. We are in car line and I'm headed to work today. The girls are going to school and we are just having a regular Tuesday, but I'm going to be doing some things in downtown Huntsville today, so I thought I would take you along for a quick day in the life today. Are you ready for first grade today, Natalie? Yeah. One of the things I like about the school is they have a long, like, winding car line that goes around, so it's it's nice because it's very contained and you're not, like, on a, a road or anything, so the kids are able to get their seatbelts off ahead of time. in for a few minutes to get some stuff done on the computer and then we are heading out to do some things in downtown Huntsville today to get some shots and video so I thought it would be fun to kind of take you along for a day in the life and take you along to downtown Huntsville. Starting out at Big Spring Park and there's the Museum of Art right over here and the arena where they have hockey down there we're gonna go try to find the Huntsville sign. So all of the videos where we went to the hockey events and Disney on Ice were over there at Probst Arena, the Braun Braun Center. Then when we did the vlog of Isabella having her artwork, it was over here in Museum of Art. fish down in the water. There's tons of ducks everywhere. They're all hanging out there this morning. All the construction in the background is they're tearing part of the building off over there. I think that's the core house. So they must be tearing part of it down and building on a new section. And then straight across there, there's the YMCA. We're going to head that direction in a minute. So we're out here trying to get shots of different historic things here in Huntsville and iconic things. And this bridge was given to America from the Japanese Self-Defense Force in, in commemoration of the Bicentennial. Oh look, there's tiny little ducks. <laughs> you see the ducklings? Aren't they cute? This was apparently the first canal in Alabama. It's constructed in 1820 to 1831. It's been around for a while. So there's a rock wall back here, and there's a little fountain. I'm gonna go over there and check that out. Some big stairs. Then over here, is the iconic Huntsville sign. This is the one that you see a lot in people's pictures that are from here. It's kind of tucked back here on a parking garage actually. Right in the back part of Big Spring Park. Nice little walkway over here by the fountain, which the ducks are using right now. And some pretty stairs with a big fountain up there, too. So 
this is Clinton Row. They've actually turned a parking garage into stores. And then at night, they have the happy lights that go over the street. It's cute work here. Mm -hmm. And I head into Honest Coffee for some acai bowls and some grabbing a quick cappuccino and having an acai bowl. This is the bomb bomb bowl at Honest Coffee. And I think that this is the one I got before when we were here. I'll try to link that video down below. I'm gonna head back over to Big Spring Park and head back to the car. I'm gonna come down here sometime at night. There's pines and pixels. They have like video games and beer. So we're heading back down to the car, but there's a little area called Alabama Constitution Village that has all these cute little period houses. You can see that it like goes all the way like back. There's like a little kind of square and everything back through here. I want to bring the kids to these because it looks really cute. They're all set up like from the period that I think Alabama or that at least Huntsville was founded. So this is something I want to bring the kids to do once it cools off a little bit because you just walk around outside and sometimes they have activities set up where the kids can take part in kind of old timey activities. So it is a ways later, it's about 5.30 and I'm gonna go in and pick up the kiddos from their after school program and hopefully they had a fun time. And we had a good time on assignment today in downtown Huntsville and I got to kind of take you guys along. I have other vlogs that we've done at various places like early work, so I went down to Honest Coffee one day. I remember if I was filming that day, but anyhow, that's where we went today to get the acai bowls. And I'll try to put some of those down below because it is a really cute downtown. Um, that's actually not that busy. Um, I mean, all things considered, it's really easy to get around, easy to get working. You don't have to pay $40 to park downtown, so that's always great. Um, so I'm gonna run in and get the kids real quick, and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. And that will be another evening in the books for us. Hello, puppy love. You are messy. You got in some dirt today. Let's go see what you what did. did. you do? Your little, your paws are not the right color. Your little chin's all red. Because the red clay. Look at his nose. Look at his nose. It's all dirty. What did you do? Did you bury your bone I left outside for you? Let's go see where, oh look, you left paw prints. What did you do? Did you bury your bone? So we got him a, um, a pork skin bone. Is this the remnants of it? Is that, that did not look like that when I gave it to him this morning. So apparently he was busy with that today. Oh, you're trying to bury your bone. <laughs> That's such a dog thing to do. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh dear. Boy, you did a number on that today, Penguin. Alright, let's go wipe your paws off and you can come inside. I don't know what to do with that thing. I gotta show you what that started out like because it did not look anything like that. You ready to go inside? Let's wipe your paws and your nose off. <laughs> so fresh and clean. There you go. So tonight we are going to have this Parmesan chicken for dinner. Parmesan chicken for dinner and this is from Publix Deli. So this is what the bone started out like. You guys saw the after. This is what it looked like. I guess it was, um, the, what he has left is like the wrapping that's over this and this is supposed to be all like pork roasted rawhide free type of thing i got this at pet so we're gonna have a visit from the doggy tooth fairy tonight because someone lost his first doggy tooth well since he's been here anyway he might have lost other dog baby teeth before we had him but anyhow he's lost his first one so it's like a little milestone <laughs> He lost his first tooth while he's here. I looked down and I was like, that looks like a tooth on the floor. It is a tooth. <laughs> it's a dog tooth. So, uh, we'll have the doggy tooth fairy visit tonight. And we got cleaned up from dinner. The kids are in bed, so 
I'm probably gonna go catch up on our shows and I'm gonna do some editing so you guys have videos to watch. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.